We're all about building upcoming and potential entrepreneurs and making sure we help by adding immeasurable value to their lives and by extension, that of our economy. Welcome to Dinner with Stars. I'm Chai and I'm your host for tonight. On this show, we have two segments. The first segment, we have a celebrity guest. A fan is selected to, you know, hang out with our celebrity guests. And on the second segment, we all get to wine and dine together. To be a part of this show, just follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Dinner with Stars. Our guest today is a fashion entrepreneur. She has styled a lot of our top celebrities, and also she was a 2017 Future Awards nominee for fashion and design. So let's go meet up with her right now where she's actually hanging out with the fans. Thank you, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> you're welcome. So yeah, um, I was super excited when I was going to be talking to you. Like, on you the, were? It was such a joy when I heard it. I'm happy to hear this. I'm very happy to to hear this actually. So. Um, because for I think the longest time I followed your journey, um, you started styling with Project Fame. Oh, mm -hmm. that's where I started to like care about you. That's a long time coming, you know. Yeah. That, well, practically it was because I had a friend of mine that was a contestant on the show. Okay. Yeah. So for most of her pictures. I saw what, um, what she wore and how she was styled, mm -hmm. and I liked it. So I kept asking, oh, who styled you? And then she told me it was you, and mm. I figured, and oh, you were styling. And at the time, I was trying to figure out what side of fashion I would fall into. Mm -hmm. And I think I gravitated towards styling a lot more. And I told myself, OK, I think I want to style. And then after that, I just kept seeing your steady grow. And, Star styling celebrities and mm -hmm. everything else and I've been following you ever since. I'm particularly happy to have you on board because this is not um, talking to a some sort of random fan. You know, this is someone who is particular about fashion and enthusiastic about the business. I'm super So it, it feels like I'll be talking to someone, you know, mm. talking to the you in you as opposed to just a random person. Yeah, more than I'm anything, happy. I'm, I'm grateful to Dinner with Stars for the opportunity and I'm looking forward to dinner. I think we're supposed to have yes, dinner somewhere. Yes, 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 yes. Is it yes. now or do I, I think it's about it? time, yeah. Also, it is, can we it get is. To it? I just got carried away with what you, we were both talking about. Fantastic, I can't wait <laughs> for all of the sharing to happen. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to learn everything you have to teach me. And, no problem. Um, I think we should go see Chai and... Yes, let's go. for coming Jane it was a pleasure thank you so much for having me Aww. and thank you Wede for coming through as well thank you so much for setting it up <laughs> I'm excited to be here great 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 so Jane a lot of people know the face but no know the name but they don't really know the face because you tend to be more behind the scenes so um, um boy, no, no, you no. don't agree well to a very large extent, yes. Yeah. They know the name more than the face. Yeah, because yeah. I knew the name before I actually met you. Yes, so, yeah. yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember. Yeah, so at what point did you realize that fashion was your thing? Um, at the point where I started getting recognition for what I do, and then the most prominent one was where I was recognized by CNN International. Oh, yeah, CNN. That's, so, that's a big one. Yes, it was a big one for me. When did that happen? It happened um, two years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, thereabout. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. How did that feel? I'm sure it was like CNN. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like hard work pays. <laughs> All right. Yes, So yes. how long have you been in the industry? I've been in the industry for over 10 years. Wow. Yeah. See, a lot of people don't know that. You I didn't know. even know she's been in the industry for that long. Like, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah. 
So hard work does pay off. Yes, it 10 does. 10 years of yeah. working. And well, the passion has helped the consistency. Right. You know, it has helped me to be consistent with what I do. Mm. So... Because a lot of times I just feel like throwing it all away. Yeah. But then again, you throw it all away to do what? Else. Right? Yeah. So the passion has kept me going. Oh, that's, that, yeah. that's great to hear. Yeah. So how did you get your first celebrity client? Okay, I got my... Funny enough, or fortunately for me, mm -hmm. my first gig as a stylist yeah. was the... MTN Project Fame, and that's like a gig. Wait, what? That yes, was your first gig? as a stylist, yes. How did you get that? I got that through... Okay, we heard about it when um, we used to sell to... We had a client, a client that worked there, mm -hmm. and our service was good. Yeah. So they just suggested and asked if we were... I say we because at that time I had a partner who dealt okay. with guys, and then I used to deal with girls. Yeah. Yeah, so he sold clothes to them, you know, and I also did. And that was how we pitched in, you know. Um, we created a proposal. You know, it was, a, it was an amazing awesome. experience, yes. And apart from the fact that our proposal was like the best, mm. because we were pretty naive about it, of course, the price would have been so mm. cheap. Point, of like, yeah, but oh. that was like an eye opener. It was a it was a breaker, you know. At the same time, it yeah. was everything to us. We ran at a loss. We learned a lot. We knew what well, was supposed to be. It was, your first to be. Gig, it was so. our first gig. And yeah. I feel like for that to be the first, like it's yeah. almost bragging rights. Like yeah, yeah. first time I saw it was for MTN. <laughs> like anyway, who that says that? Call for something. Really? Yeah. And it's a highly competitive industry. So yes. how do you um, how do you break through the clutter? you know, and create something for yourself. Because obviously you've created something mm -hmm. about your brand that stands out. Mm -hmm. you know. So um, fortunately for me and unfortunately, I'm the creative director of my brand. Mm -hmm. So um, half the time when people are asleep, I'm strategizing and then I also create content for my brand. So it's beyond just making, styling yeah, or, making, the or clothes. making clothes. Yes. You know, there is a lot evolved around fashion. Mm. You know, you have your DIYs, you have your style Making influencer. For us, that we don't know the, what is DIY, DIY. <laughs> I don't know. Do yourself. Thank Do you. Yourself. Yes, okay. yes. You okay. must be fashion inclined, right? Yes, I'm a fan. I love fashion, <laughs> which is why this is such a great experience for me. Yeah. I'm just looking Thank forward you. to learn a lot of things from you. Thank uh, you. So, yeah, so I tend to create content around me. You know, just to get people wanting more from me. So I had something called Revamp Your Style. Okay. which teaches you how to revamp your old clothes and then make, make them look. Yes, yeah. and then it saves you some cash. And then you also learn a couple of things on how to change things here and there. Mm. So I had that. And then I've had... Um, I know if I sit back, I can think of like five um, contents that I've created wow. off the top of my head yes okay since yeah. we're on that topic of branding can you please speak because it's an entrepreneurial show mm -hmm. can you please speak on the importance of building a brand because i feel like it's very under talked about a lot of mm -hmm. people just think oh i'm a stylist because i can i like to wear mm -hmm. nice clothes you know? yeah can you speak on the importance of actually building a solid brand that stands out building a brand to me feels like you know Building a brand basically is how is like building a house. How do you want your house to be, yeah. right? And it still goes back to the adage that says, if you plan to fail, if you fail to plan, you plan okay. to fail. Yeah. So you need to tend to set your brand in such a way that you would want it to be perceived. And there is, you, you know how they say, dream freely. Yeah. You know, you need to have people who are successful in your business, in what you do, right. read about them and then read about how they've done what they do to be successful. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're particularly going to be um, a copycat of what they do, but right. it's a guideline to help you or to propel you to what you want. And then you have to write out your plans. So you say to yourself, six years from now, I want to be known as the best stylist in the industry. What makes you known as the best stylist? It's not mm. just by putting those things together. And yeah. sometimes visibility to, to, 
you know visibility has to come into play so you'd have to even reach out to some of these people so that they you can be seen you can be heard yeah. you know and then you also need to ask yourself what makes you different from what every other person is doing right. you know and then um, you know, I told you that if I sit back and I can, I, I would be able to think, think of, of some things. Yeah. yeah, so at some point I had to even have the school of styling, which teaches people how to style, oh, yeah. you know. And I think I'm like the only stylist in the industry who has a proper school of, of styling. styling. Okay. Yeah, you have a lot of people here and there who's yeah. done programs teaching people but i have a standard school of style and i also have a foundation wow. so and these still running. Mm -hmm, and these are the things that help you you know you set yourself aside from every other person yeah. you know so that's it wow that's great you actually pointed um but you pointed something about your you made a a connection to networking so mm -hmm. i'm gonna get back to that we're gonna go on a quick break and when we're back we still have jane here and when we're back we have more juiciness for you from Jane Michael. Welcome back. We still have Jane here with us. So um, you touched on networking, mm -hmm. actually, in what you said previously. Mm -hmm. So what are your top, like, networking tips? Because I'm sure, like, in your industry, you meet so many people, mm -hmm. you know, and you have to sustain those relationships. Mm -hmm. But even before you get to that relationship, how do you grab their attention at first? Um... Well, fortunately for me, I'd say my brand grabs their, grabs their attention to a very large extent. My brand is, I'd say my brand is a premium brand, mm. which perceives as an expensive brand. Mm. So sometimes people pitch, you know, they pitch for things. They want to work with your brand, but then again, they can't afford the brand. So you need to be relevant and you need to be consistent. Okay. So sometimes because you just have to keep working, you need to suffer a couple of losses and, you know, take some jobs that don't particularly, you know, Pay fit up. the brand yeah. financially at yeah. that time. Yeah. So you'd have instances where people just think oh my goodness are you the only person that everybody wants to work with apart from the fact that you need to even give it a hundred you know because regardless even if you you're paid five naira for the job the moment you've taken it it's your that's brand, it so you yeah have so to... you need to you need to put out all you know yeah. your all in it yeah. now these are the ways i'm able to hold on to these brands and network with them mm -hmm. so that's why most times, most of the brands I work with, 90% of the brands I've worked with will tell you that I, I do a good job for them regardless of, of the price. So that helps me network. And then um, part of the reasons why I also get more jobs is that I get referrals from so the previous. Referrals. Yeah, because, you know, we are only as good as our last job. Of course. Mm -hmm. So we always of have course. to put in our best foot forward. And word of mouth is always like, Yes, you know, it's the, the first the form best. of advertisement. Yes, yes. yes. I always yes. Used to, they always used to say that when I was in sales, word of mouth. So, you know, make sure your product, you know, mm -hmm. can stand the test mm -hmm. of time. Um, well, I'm kind of curious, though, like, um, quick question. Because I practically follow your work and it's interesting. You do? Yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> I do. Thank you. And um, it's interesting to see how you work. And I'm just curious to know what's your creative process like? Like from conceptualization of this is where I'm going with whatever I'm doing mm -hmm. to execution. What is that thing? Like the different stages you go through to get into the finished work. Um, first, you get your brief. You always need to ask all the questions. There's two, You never have too many questions asked mm. because in production you know thank god we are here so you know what production is about yeah. in production someone always takes the blame because mm. production never goes right a hundred percent you know even internationally mm. so that one percent that is not right there is somebody responsible for that mm. and you don't want to be the reason or wow. you don't want to be yeah. responsible for that so there is never you know there is never ever ever um, too many questions asked. Mm. So just getting so clarity as the direction yes, of the Yes, yes, yes. And the moment you get your brief, make sure you work on your brief. So what role would you say that social media plays in um, 
fashion industry today? In the fashion industry or in my brand? Well, in your brand and as a whole, you know. I'll say to a very large extent that fashion, that social media has played um, a positive role in my business and also in the fashion industry. You know, there are cases where I'm confused about a particular item. I could just Google it up. Mm. And, you know, when I have to send my presentations as well, you know, when I don't have the time to talk to my um, illustrator or have the time to illustrate properly the, the details of how I want it, you go to Pinterest and then you get ideas yeah. and then it helps you, you know. Yeah. And then another example to, you know, you have Instagram, for instance. I remember I have an idea of a, of a particular hairstyle I want to do <laughs> after this. Screen grab. Yeah. I do that all the time. Yeah. So, <laughs> you see, so we also gather inspiration from what we see. Yeah. And half the time we are on social media and then we gather, like, oh, Moschino did this. So, oh, yeah, yes. this one did this. Yeah. So, you're like put heads together and then you get inspired and build on it and that's it so wow, yeah great um if you could start all over again mm -hmm. what is one thing that you could have prepared yourself for going into the industry if i could start all over again i don't think i would change anything i am right now because i believe that my mistakes are the things that make me what i am today right. you oh. know so we need the mistakes to learn the right things. Otherwise, it's not a journey. Okay. Yeah. So there's, there was no instance that maybe you got into, I don't know, um, say, I would say, okay, if I was to get into the industry now as an actress, what mm -hmm. I'd probably do different is more on the networking stuff. Um, okay. Yeah. So there's nothing that you would have... Done differently? Yeah, done differently. No, I don't think so because... You know, I, I actually do believe in early mistakes, mm. you know. So for every time I, I make a mistake, you know, in a particular segment of, of my career, I'm like, okay, it could have been worse. It could have been a bigger place. But I've learned not how not to do it right. when I get to a bigger place than I am right now. Yeah. An example um, I would give is um, when I started styling the project theme, I had an issue with one of the contestants. And I almost lost the job. In fact, the second season, they didn't give me the job because of the oh, issue. Wow. They, they referred to it. But fortunately for me, the stylist they brought on board was not delivering. So they brought, me, brought, they brought me back based on merit, mm -hmm. not based on good character. Okay. But then I was able to learn, you know, that, oh, your character has a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Because regardless of how talented you are, that thing that happened was just God's favor. You know, they liked me, they liked my work, but hey, you know, we don't want a contestant suing them yeah. that it was because of the stylist she didn't win. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, it's possible. It yeah. happens, you know. So I was able to learn on time and then this was my first year as a stylist. And I've had situations where you'd have people who say, wow, I love Jane because of how she carries things. and her. No, I am actually a mad woman, <laughs> but I've been able to learn early enough How to, to manage yes right and then you've had other stylists you'd be like oh you know when you hear their gist of how nasty they can be like oh don't worry i went through that so that, <laughs> you'd learn you'd learn so yeah i don't think i want to change anything yeah. or any mistake i've learned, made because yeah. that's what has propelled me to be where i am you today built your character too, along yes the way. yeah awesome so what advice would you give anyone that's looking to enter into the fashion industry well, not just the fashion industry, anything you have to do. Remember that anything you're doing or anything worth doing is worth um, doing well. You know, you need to put in your all, bring in your A game. Yes, I know that um, passion, you know how they say you have to be passionate about it. But hey, also remember that you need capital to sustain the passion because... Mm. At some point, passion will die when there's no capital to sustain it, you know. And um, pray, you know, ask God for wisdom, guidance, yeah, yeah, to know the right place to branch into. Make sure you invest wisely, both your time and everything. You know, it's not, it's not just about the money now. 
So I'm working with you. What are you? What am I getting in return? Why am I here for this interview? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I get invites to a couple of interviews, but yeah. since I know that this is not going to take my brand or my business to any level, mm -hmm. what's the point? Right. So make sure you invest wisely. It is extremely important. And yeah. there you have it, folks. We're going to go on a quick commercial break, and we still have Jane Michaels in the building. Welcome back. We still have Jane Michaels in the building, and we have Weather. Thanks for being a good sport. Here. So we're actually this is one of my favorite parts of this, you know. Oh, I mean, it's been fun so far, but now I get to ask some quite interesting questions. Mm. Jane, you're on the hot seat. <laughs> so um, this session is called Truth or Truth, okay. which means you can only tell the truth. I, I just realized. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. They're not too. They're not too deep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> What is your guilty pleasure? I can't think about it. I think like I can't. I, 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 yeah, for some reason I don't know why. Mm, something that you enjoy doing, but you. I know, know. I know. I know what guilty Does pleasure. Does it have to be food? Because most of our is. No, it's not food. It's not food. But I know it's somewhere. Maybe it's. But this is me sounding too serious. Maybe it's um, strategizing. I enjoy doing that. And even when I know I'm supposed to be resting and yeah. relaxing. But I don't want to sound too boring and all. We all have that thing that you wouldn't want someone to know that you do. Mm -hmm. Like behind your closet. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I fantasize to be a porn star. <laughs> yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah. I didn't see that yeah. one coming. That is interesting. Yeah. I didn't so, see that one coming. Yeah. Well, okay. And then sometimes I play dress up, you know. Oh, that's uh, yeah. fun. Halloween. Yeah. That's actually fun. No. Playing dress no. Up. I think it's like fun. Like dress up as a porn star. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So I have a, a couple of lingeries, you know, like I'm obsessed with lingeries and I just buy, I acquire and acquire and acquire. Okay. I have a lot, yeah. Ah. Yeah, I have like a bag full of lingeries. I am a yeah. fan. Of, All of right. what? I, <laughs> I just realized how much of a fan I can be now. Yeah, so that's like my guilty pleasure. Yeah. Okay. So, would you rather be able to live underwater or live in outer space? Under water. Nice. Why? You were so quick. You didn't even think about that. No, 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 no. Underwater is um, it's a different. Okay, I love nature. I love okay. everything natural. So that's like seeing a different side of or a different world that I barely see. So you'd have different kinds of fishes, mm -hmm. you'd have different creatures yeah. swimming all around you. Sharks, you can even talk. Uh, just saying. <laughs> just saying. And then you can probably say hi to them, you know. You communicate cool with them. Well. And I, the yeah. sound underwater, when you're underwater, yeah. is different from, you know, when you're so Yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah, like the no. mermaid. Okay, Good luck with that. <laughs> Not in Nigeria. <laughs> Not in Nigeria, but yeah. <laughs> last one. Would you rather win one million dollars today or ten million dollars in ten years? <laughs> Please, can I have the one million dollars already? <laughs> okay. Even though the ten million in ten years, no, the value no. would be like no, 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 no. I can, I, I can, I can. No, no, no. That's not it? even it for me. For me, I think with one million dollars, I should be able to recreate. $10 million in less than two years mm -hmm. or thereabouts, okay. you know, and then that, that also Smart. keeps me um, working. You know, when you work towards it, you appreciate it more. So I'm just here sitting for 10 years and for, for something that I am not sure of. Yeah. You, you're not sure oh, of tomorrow right. until right. it's tomorrow. Right. So like they say, a bird in the hand is what's then in the bush. So you just... Bush. I'll wow. go for the ten for the one million dollar. Just, I, I feel like, what would you do? I'll go for the one million because first right of now. all, the weight <laughs> will kill me. Just saying, <laughs> but one million now practically gives me um, power to do the things that I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So it empowers me basically to do half the things that I've always wanted to do. And mm -hmm. then in doing that, who knows? I can make way over the money you want to give me in ten years. Hopefully, yes. I think I'll do actually the same thing. 
I'll do the same thing. And plus, who wants to wait 10 years for that video? Two days. It's a stretch. It took 10 on. years now. Come on. But it was so much fun having you here. Thank Jane. you so much. And when they, actually, you get three wishes from Jane. Uh, remember that I'm, I'm not genie in the bottle. <laughs> yes, so be I'm, careful uh, of what you wish for. I'm consciously Because you just might not get it. <laughs> I mean, the, the revelation. I mean, I'm just. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so wait, laundry out, out, okay. Uh, you wanna? She, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, because she likes to dress up, I mean, I'm just saying. But seriously, though, um, if you I were to... You need to see the expression on my face, though. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, if I have a well, wish, 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 wish will be... Because, first of all, I the wealth of knowledge that I've gotten here is remarkable and it's incredible. So Thank you. more than anything else, I would give anything to have this one-on-one -on -one again to probably just learn a few tips and a few tricks in the game from you, like almost like a mentorship kind of thing will be great. Okay. So um, I think it's towards the lines of your style in school and yeah. practically just see how you run your business and just take a thing or two That's from that. now asking for too much, seeing how I run my business. Sorry. No. Uh, I can I can grant never, I can gra I can <laughs> grant you wish one and mm. um, wish two, so our next school of styling you you get a class for free, Ooh. yeah, and then for, for having much. a one on one yes that's also very doable, mm -hmm. you know, but that's fine uh, yeah that's so everything good. I need okay <laughs> that's, that's empowerment good. in itself yeah. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. Wow, it was really a pleasure having you guys here. I had such an amazing time. I Thank did you. too, yeah. and I enjoyed the food the most. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. the spaghetti was the right amount of like pepper, how I like it. Before did you go, though, Jane, please have the honor of signing out for. Oh, do I have a particular space where I could just Take sign? Up the whole board. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> much for tuning in and don't forget you can join the conversation on all our social media platforms instagram facebook and twitter at dinner with stars until next time i'm chai